Yeah, this is the first rise we've seen in consumer confidence in months. There have been back-to-back -back declines, and there could be a few reasons why uh, people's economic outlook is on the upswing. I'm hopeful that we will take the steps to, to, to kind of quell some of the things that are going on. That positivity on display in the newly released Consumer Confidence Report. Gas has come down. It has. You can get a gallon under three bucks now, and the inflation rate continues falling. Do you feel better, like, seeing that go from nine to now seven? A little bit, a little bit. And economists also believe folks are just in good spirits right now while celebrating the holiday season. The report says almost 48% of people say jobs are plentiful and 20% expect business conditions to improve short term. The question is if this good news is good enough to, for example, cause the Federal Reserve to pay, taper their interest rate hikes, uh, is it good enough to present a, prevent a recession in 2023? Those are the big questions. The Fed could approve another hike in the new year. It peaked in June, reaching 9.1%. That was the largest increase in four decades. Folks wondering how much longer it'll be before prices get under control. Groceries are still very tough, and so that affects everyone. And so that one I'm a little more nervous on, seeing how that's going to affect the working class long term. The report also shows that people are concerned and worried about their salaries. 13% of people expect their income to decrease. We're live in Raleigh, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah, it's kind of been an up and down ride, especially this last year with the economy. Elena, thank you.